Okay, so uh, just to confirm, do you guys only operate in China or do you guys work with other yeah. countries as well? So we operate in Asia, India, mm -hmm. South America, Mexico, and the USA. Um, you know, based on the location of the factory location is going to be based on the client and what their product is, the budget they have in place. Maybe they have specific requirements. Maybe it does have to be a USA made product and it has to be all 100% USA made material. So it's all based on their requirements. And also there's only certain countries that you can source certain material from. So it's, so it's needed to be able to diversify this manufacturing like this. And we do operate in these different areas as well, strictly on the fact that brands do want to diversify their manufacturing, especially over the last two years, you know, with all the global issues we had with everything yeah. from factories being shut down to freight, a lot of people got scared working in China and they wanted to move out of China and go to India. Maybe they wanted to go to Mexico or move stuff to the USA. So we're able to help brands that want to get out of those areas, diversify their manufacturing, even if they keep their main factory in China still, we can build them into small micro factories in these other countries and help diversify. So that way, if an issue does happen in China, like for example, you know, there's another COVID outbreak right now. So mm -hmm. Shenzhen is shut down. A lot of factories aren't operating. So if something like that happens, we say, hey, it's okay. You know, we diversified your manufacturing. We're over in this region in China right now, or maybe we're over in India doing this. So we uh -huh. can eliminate that. You don't need to worry about your product. We still have a backup solution for you to help fill that bottleneck in your supply chain. Got it. So the, again, you know, that's something that a normal person who's sourcing for Amazon brand does not have the time to do at all, pretty much. So uh, 